Hello everyone, welcome back to Technic Forest Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to create a store in Shop Funnels. Let's get started. Here I have successfully installed my Shop Funnels. This is my domain name and my folder name where I installed my Shop Funnels. And what you're seeing right now is my Shop Funnels admin login page. So now I'll enter in my credentials here and log in. Now that we're logged in, you can follow this product run through or you can skip it and you can easily create a store right here from your dashboard. Just click here on create a store now button. Next, add in your store name here. I want to name my store as shop. You'll see the store URL below it. Then click on the create store button. And as you can see here, the product run through will still guide us here. You can follow it if you want or just skip it for now. And right here, you can see we have already created the pages for you. So when you create your store in Shop Funnels, it will automatically create all the required pages for you. All the required pages are available here, like your sales page or home page, your collection page, product page, card, order form page, confirmation, cancellation, and registration page, login page, membership page, and the forgot password page. You can even add new pages depending on your need and liking. First, let me show you the sales page. Click on it. This is your website homepage. Right click on it and click on visit the page. Here you will see the default sales page that it gives you. If you want to change it, just go back and click on the change template button. Here you have tons of options to choose from. Whatever niche you have, we got it here. For example, I have a bakery shop, so I'll choose this one. Just click on it. Then if I go back and visit the page, you'll see the new templates that I have chosen. And as of now, I do not have any products yet. That is why it's shown here, products not found. But don't worry. We'll show you how you can add your products in the upcoming videos. Now, if you want to change some settings on your sales page, just scroll down a bit and here you will see a cog icon. Click on it. First thing you'll see here is your page URL. Right now, it's named as home, but you can write whatever name you want here. Next, we have the A or B testing. What it does is you can use two different templates for this one where some people will see template A and others will see template B. That way you can identify which templates attracts more traffic. If you toggle this button, you will then enable the A or B testing feature. You can also select it as random or either A or B. Next, if you want to display GDPR cookie notice, then toggle on this button to enable it. If you need much detailed tutorial on how to use GDPR cookie notice, we have a tutorial for it here on our channel. Next, if you want to create a page cache, enable this button. But we highly advise that you do not use page caching on template pages like the sales page or any pages that has a dynamic content. And you'll also see the note right here that will remind you. So for this one, I'll leave it as it is. Moving on, toggle on this button to enable authentication for visitors to access. If you don't want any visitors to have easy access on this page, you can enable this feature, so they must first log in before they can access the page. Let me show you how it works. Let me enable it here and save the settings for now. Then let's visit the page. Now you will see that it requires a login first before accessing the page. Let me revert this first and now let's continue. You can also send your leads to Zapier just by enabling it here. But of course you'll have to install and connect your Zapier plugin here in Shop Funnels, which will have another tutorial video right here on our channel to help you. Next, if for example here on your sales page you have a form and a visitor filled it up and submitted it. They will be redirected to the next page that you want to send them out to and not the next page on your list of pages 
you can enable this feature to redirect them to a different page. Now, if you want to redirect them, for example on your collection page, product page or anywhere here, all you have to do is click on the chosen page and copy this page URL. Go back to your sales page, settings, and paste the URL here. So when they submit the form from your sales page, they will be automatically redirected here on the registration page. For that is the URL that I have chosen to put here. If I disable this feature and remove the URL and save the settings, when I send the request, it will just take me to the next page on the list, which is the collection page. So that is the use of the redirection option. Going back to the random template, let me show you how it will look like. Here you will see two options, template A and template B, which is the A or B testing option that we have talked about a while ago. So first let me choose a template for B. Template A, we chose a bakery shop template. Now I'll choose a vegetable shop. Now every time a visitor visits your page, they will see the different kinds of templates. For example, now you see the bakery shop. If I refresh this now, you will see the vegetable template now. And that's how the A or B testing looks like. Moving on, next thing you'll see here in your page settings is selecting the header and footer. These are important functionality in your shop funnels. In some situations, you'll want the same header and footer, so you will need to create the header and footer page. Let me show you how to create them. First, let's go back. Then click here to add a new page. You can write any name for this page, but for now, I'll name it as header. Then click on add. Then click on this page, choose your template, and go to the settings. Then select the page category as header page. Then save your settings. After that, go back, select the page, and visit it. So this is the header page. If you want to put this header in your templates, what you can do is, first, refresh with this. Select your page, go to the settings, and select header. But take note, when using the header, please disable the A or B testing feature here because the header file will not work with two templates. Then save your settings. Now if I go visit this page again, you'll see the header here. So just repeat the same process and you can also create the footer page. Now this is the footer page. You can also add this on any page that you have. You can also create multiple headers and footers depending on how much you need. Now let's move on to other features available here. Here you will see the page category option. This is where you will change or select your page category. You also have the SMTP for project. If you're going to send emails to your customers, you can use this option. You can use PHP Mailer or other SMTP. And we'll have a detailed tutorial on the SMTP here on our channel. Next, select lists. You can create a list if you want to add your subscribers or users data in your list here. Create that from the email marketing section on the sidebar. Click on add list button. Enter in the name for it. Click here and it will be added. Now go back to your store on your sales page again. And from here you will see the newly added list where you can then choose it so your subscribers from that page will be added to that list. Like so. Next, you have the membership access. You can just choose it here. You also have the autoresponders. ShopFunnels supports a lot of autoresponders. If you want to send those leads, 
that you have on your list to your autoresponders, you can easily download those by clicking here on the marketplace. Select email on the category to easily look for the available autoresponders here on Shop Funnels. Then after installing those, you can then select one here and save your settings. Then your leads will be sent out to your autoresponder of choice. Same for the integrations. You can add the external script app here. You can download those by again going to the marketplace or the plugin section, like what you did on the autoresponders. Now moving on, you have the header and footer script box here. If you're using any script from this specific page, you can add your script here, but I highly recommend that you use the external script through integration, and we'll also guide you on how to do that on a separate tutorial video. Now for example, let me add here meta tags, so I can just write here, or let me search meta tag online, copy the meta tags and paste it here, and save the setting. Let me visit this page. Here you will see the meta tags that I have added a while ago. Moving on, you also have the valid input names here. These are used in getting the user's data. Like for example here on the list, we have collected the user's name, email address and everything here. So valid input names are used for those. And you have specific ones here for the project and for the page. You can also see these on the page editor. Let me show you. Let's go back here. Select the page and this time click on the edit existing page button and this will take you to the powerful page editor that we have here on Shop Funnels. Here you will see the input names and if you don't have the other input names that you want, you can then add it here on your page settings. Then save your settings. Go back and open your editor. Now you'll see the input names that you have added. You can then select it here and save the settings. Now if I visit the page and enter some details here and submit it, here on the template preview, you'll see the conversion number was added since I have submitted a new data. You can click on it to see all the details and that is how you can use the input names. Now let's move on to the next page, which is the edit SEO data. Add in your page title here, icon, description, keywords, robots value, copyright, and DC title. And we'll give you a detailed tutorial on how to set all of these on another video. Okay, next page we have is collection. This page contains all the products and any specific products related to your store. It also shows filters, sorting page, and of course, this is the new Shop Funnels website. So I have no product in this website. Let me show you my old Shop Funnels website. This website have a lot of products, and let me visit the collection page. Here you can see all the product. This is the filter by collections and filter by price. So this is what the collection page looks like. Next we have the product page. This is what it looks like. It shows all the details of your product. For example, product title, product review, product description, the buy now button, and all the product images with zoom in option and everything. If I click here, buy now, then I will be redirected to the order page. So this is the order page. Customer can purchase this product by filling in the details. The customer can also add a gift card here. This is the product title. This is the payment details. Customers can fill in all the details here. Now, on the cart page, what you can do here is if you visit the product page and click on the cart, you'll see the cart page. Here you'll see the products that you have added to your cart. You can edit the quantity of your order here or remove some items. Next, here's the order form page. 
Click on it and go to the settings. Here you can select the payment methods for your customer checkout. You can also add any payment method that you have. You will again find those on the marketplace here on Shop Funnels. You can also go to the plugin section for it. Click on Add New Plugin, then Install from Marketplace. Search the payment method of choice and install. Then it will be added here. Click on it and set up its API. Enter the title, client ID, secret key, tax amount, and then save your settings. It will then be added to your list here. Then you can select it from your page settings. Again, you have all the pages here. If you want to edit those, you can just click on it and click on Edit Existing Page. You can also change this template by clicking on the Change Template button. Then again, if you want to make some more changes on that, click here. Like for example, you'll see the login page linked here. If they click on it, they'll be redirected to the login page. And to do that, you can insert the page URL here. Go to your login page settings, copy the URL, and paste it here and all the elements that you need are available here in our editor from fonts, sizes, and colors. Save your changes and you'll see the updated one on your page. Here on membership page is where you can manage the customer's orders and purchases. And there you have it, all the things you need to know when creating your store in Shop Funnels. I hope you find this video helpful and stay tuned for more in-depth tutorials coming. Thanks for watching!